से पत्थर Here we are shaping the electrode by wire, reducing the diameter. Machining of glass. Yeah, this is a very quick video. We are here. Yeah. And again, uh, so recently, three years back, we added laser to it. Again, there is a video. Unfortunately, I think we cannot show it here. The video, and then we had to develop. I will not go into the details of it. We have to develop the controller uh, to integrate uh, conventional CNC probe machining and EDM together. And uh, as I showed yesterday. We really took care of high accuracy, uh, uncontrolled controller for our extremely uh, fine con finely controlled controller machine by controlled spark. This is by wire cut EDM. So this one we have discussed it as you see, finally we went by taper turning. Now, this is the equation. How to calculate the step? Yesterday, I missed this slide. Uh, deflection delta is equal to force, length of overhang cube divided by EI, Young's modulus and uh, moment of inertia. So this is the equation, and you to find the ultimate bending stress. And then you go by step, step by step, OK? And this thing, let me go back, and we had to do experiment to prove that it works. Experimentally, yeah, this is the graph. We found the value, and we took the minimum length of overhang. So these are the shafts. And from there, as I told, uh, when we could not go below 50 micron, I think we studied, we spoke about it, 
we have to think why we cannot go a shape below 50 micron because the radial force as the edge radius oh god uh, okay edge radius was causing the radial force we try to remove that because it is polycrystalline diamond we could do it easily uh, because of the rounded edge and why we put a rounded edge in a cutting tool there are two reasons actually why this nose radius comes in or edge radius comes in any idea why why not it's a very pointed tool infinitely sharp surface finish because surface finish is is very much uh, feed rate divided by edge radius okay so if you can increase the edge radius surface finish will improve but when it comes to micro hole it becomes enemy micro tool it becomes enemies we need to remove it stronger cutting tool tip better surface finish uh, and the radial force becomes dominant factor okay now you look at it tool nose radius comes in when you are doing surface machining correct when you are removing by the edge then edge radius edge radius in the feed direction edge radius if you have to measure the surface finish of the chip for instance if you try to finish a plain surface then ed edge radius comes in edge radius becomes edge radius as well as this becomes the tool nose radius because you are not measuring the surface finish of the workpiece you are taking care of the surface finish of the feet in the feet direction okay. so it depends usually nose radius for cylindrical and edge radius comes from feet direction so as we discussed uh, to make it sharp tool from this from our yeah so remove tip we get, we go, we try to get it up, but it cannot be fine infinitely sharp it cannot be point sharp there will be some edge radius left otherwise at the very touch the tool tip will break and this is done by a block edm so you see the cutting edge was round it it was made sharp but of course it is better to give some clearance otherwise there will be a flat contact so sharp tool with less than 5 micrometer nose can be fabricated here you see the nose is nothing but edge radius so this one i rushed yesterday so you see to get this 5 micron electrode so many steps the base material which is 4 millimeter 4 to 6 millimeter so we did paper tunnel as you see here using the commercial pcd and we got a pencil formation with pcd now then final shaft turning tool modified edge radius was removed and we machined we went up to 11 micron below 11 micron we could not go because edge radius is there already 5 micron so theoretically we should be we are supposed you know, 5 micron then we can get double which will be 10 micron but we could we could reach up to 11 micron and by turning that is the best we could get on graphite 11 micron and this is the diameter of the hair and then on that we did block idiom the electrode was rotating and tool electrode rotating and sacrificial electrode was uh, no the tool was rotating and moving up and down this electrode which was machined up to 11 micron and block idiom continued to erode the electrode 
and every step we are measuring the diameter because we have the on machine measuring device we are measuring the diameter and when each reached at 5 micron with that we did EDM so it is because of compound machining such thing could be done otherwise there is another no way and uh, I am happy to say that this is the smallest hole in the world till today with highest aspect ratio this is the sorry aspect ratio for this 6.5 50 micron depth 8 point something 8 point something yeah Point five. I mean, yeah. was it breaking or? No, it didn't break. So you, you went up to six point five micron. So did you try uh, smaller than that? Uh, we were more than happy because our demand was uh, on a fifty micron plate. Panasonic wanted us to have ten micron bowl. Okay. Since we could uh, penetrate all the way. Uh, I was curious to know. I mean, what is the lower uh, limit? Not from the application perspective, but lower limit. Uh, for I think uh, for 5 micron shaft below that we did not try it could be I mean if you uh, basic thing is that smaller the diameter of the rod aspect ratio will be lower yeah I mean I was just curious to know I mean, whether it got broken after at certain value or we did not test up the limit okay. it is worth trying actually yeah. definitely it will break even this uh, 50 micron electrode, if we put it ex exposed, it will come and touch and it breaks, breaks or bends, uh, mostly bends. If it is 5 micron, definitely it will break. So we don't allow anybody to touch it and they do the machining. Definitely it is worth trying the limit. And uh, if somebody comes and claims that they have done 5 micron hole, we will go for the next challenge. But so far, uh, very satisfactory. So yeah, this data is here. 6.5 micron hole machined on 50 micron stainless steel plate, probably the world's smallest hole with highest aspect ratio. These things are okay. Uh, next slide. If you want to have a round electrode. Uh, you can do it two way either you rotate the tool around it it is very cumbersome lengthy process um, you can do reverse EDM you make holes on a plate and uh, it use this plate as an electrode and continue to do the EDM on a flat surface so erosion will take place and the rod will come out it is called reverse EDM and I think on reverse EDM professor Joshi has done extensive work And this example, this is done by reverse EDM. Sorry? Yeah. The oh, basic biggest advantage is that you do not have, if you do not have enough gap to rotate the tool around it, then you will have to go for reverse EDM. So reverse EDM, you can have very pro holes at very close proximities. So that is the way. So actually, for such case, it is always better to go for reverse, unless you have big space to move the cutter around. And it's too time-consuming uh, to rotate the cutter. Not necessarily. It depends on what material it is, how fast you can move. If it's soft material, then rotating the tool around the electrode, and the diameter is large enough, then it's fine. So all these restrictions you will have to take judgment based on the restrictions given. Sorry? Why can't we use this reverse EDM for making the tool instead of this micro turning or WDG? Uh, why can't we use this uh, reverse EDM to fabricate the tool, the micro tool, instead of going for micro turning or WDG? No, no, no. Uh, if you, I am suggesting reverse EDM. Reverse EDM. But if it is very simple, then you need square rod, then micro milling is very fast. You do two way milling, very quickly you can do it. 
and only thing you need to take care that the size of the electrode, square electrode, should be reasonably big enough so that it, they don't break during machining. Size and length. Otherwise, if it is round, I think reverse EDM is the best solution. Even square EDM, you may not have enough space for the tool, milling tool to move. So I'm giving you two options. You can do it by machining, you can do it by e conventional machining or by EDM. But most of the cases it is done by reverse EDM. Yeah, uh, on machine fabrication, <coughs> there are two, three ways. I will discuss about the advantages and disadvantages. Block electrode. Uh, with the block, you use it. But again, I, I better throw it to your discussion. What is the advantage of block EDM and disadvantage of block EDM? Have I written it? Oh, no, it is there. Uh, it is written, so it's okay. Block EDM, easy setup, low cost, smooth surface, unpredictable tool electrode diameter. Why is it? Usually, which will be thicker? The top will be thicker and bottom will be very narrow. Yes. Yes, if you are doing it uh, by say reverse EDM yes. or by machining, will there be uh, you know, uh, any change in mechanical uh, properties? Okay, it is worth investigating. But what I reply from my common sense, and EDM, what happens in EDM? EDM takes place very high temperature, plasma. So the effect of heat it comes into thing. Same case with laser, when you do by laser, heat affected zone comes in. Now whether if the heat affected heat affected zone may cause softening of the layer or hardening of the layer, depending on the material. Okay. If it is normal material, heat affected zone is harder like welded. In normal material it becomes softer. But material like Inconel where work hardening takes place, the surface will become harder. Usually for conventional material, heat affected zone is softer. In Inconel is the opposite. Uh, so it has its own advantage and disadvantage. If you do by EDM and laser, uh, later we will show the example when you go for secondary machining, after doing EDM if you need to do finishing, then it is an advantage because heat affected zone is soft. After doing laser machining, you do EDM, it is very fast and very quickly you can remove the heat affected zone and you can do the finishing. Uh, then you can do it by disc. Okay, the disc disc is slower than these, but more accurate than that. Where this electrode could be distributed over the parameter of the disc, because then the electrode wire will be this here. It is working as electrode. So, it's that a way. When you do turning of a shaft, conventional turning. And you will see from the starting very hard material from starting to the end of the machine the diameter is a very micron scale or nano scale. The initial diameter is small or large compared to the final diameter. End diameter slightly there is and uh, so when you machine Okay, let me put it the other way. When you machine a shaft with constant depth of cut, your tool wire is constant because you are having a constant depth of cut. Can you think of a case where you can reduce the tool wire by changing from constant depth to variable depth? If you can machine variable depth, then your tool wire is less because contact point is changing every time. 
So if you do taper turning, for instance, if your depth of cut is 2 millimeter, you start with 2 millimeter, you do a taper turning for 10 millimeter length, you vary from 2 millimeter, come to 0 depth of cut, correct? So your tool contact cutting point is continuously changing. Now you go back and start from 0, come to maximum depth of cut 2, your tool contact is continuously changing. So your tool wire will be much less. Have you ever tried it? That's why people use rotary tool so that contact point changes. Now what is the disadvantage of rotary tool? Hmm? No, the most important disadvantage is that at the end you get a rounded corner, you cannot get a sharp corner. So if you don't need a sharp corner, then you use a rotary tool. Exactly same thing, when you use a rotating disc, the electrode wire is very less. Sir, yes. uh, how you are aligning the axis of tool with rotation axis? Because that also will be very critical to maintain the diameter. Mm, for uh, rotation axis of uh, shaft and uh, tool. Yes. That in will be very critical. Yeah. yeah. So, then you have to make sure that the tool is continuous because friction is taking place. The friction is forcing it to rotate. Isn't but if uh, rotation axis and uh, tool, uh, they will be offset by some microns, I guess, in conventional. Yeah, you, you can have it, but if it is a rough turning, after all, the rotary tool is used for rough turning. You need not be so particular. In fine turning, these are not allowed. It's only for macro milling, macro machining, macro turning. So, coming. Oh sorry. Next is wire electrode. This is the common thing actually, commonly used because we want the electrode to be very fine, very accurate. So, we use wire which is rotating, and the tool is moving up and down. But it is very time consuming, it takes a lot of time, but it has a lot of advantages. You can get the exact dimension you want throughout the whole length and you can continuously, uh, you do not have to machine the whole electrode at a time, you can do part by part maintaining high rigidity. This is quite commonly used by EDG method. Block EDG is usually used for very quick and rough finishing. You see, for block EDM, the electrode like becomes like this. Um, combination of stationary block, so these details I do not know whether we need to go in. Z axis controls the spark gap, to and fro relative transitional motion, x and y axis, setup is easy, cost is less, uh, addition is distributed over a range, but ultimately the electrode becomes like this. So, you can after that you can have and this is this hole is done in silicon and again if you look at the diameter of the hole top and bottom slightly different. These cases we have seen, uh, I skip all those, it is ok correct? nothing much to explain about it. And then somebody was asking if we want to have high aspect ratio hole, um, it is very difficult because sec debris accumulated in the gap becomes secondary electrode. So, secondary sparks are generated and as you go deeper and deeper at top surface as more debris, as more erosion takes place, hole becomes taper. To avoid that, you will have to have vibration device and usually what we developed is low frequency vibration device and that gives a, is a nice hole. This is wire cut EDM, do not have to see it, this is wire cut EDM device. Uh, now, <coughs> just to add one thing, we were very happy with low vibration to make this uh, debris unstable. but. Uh, so, we were really against high frequency, but we found uh, frequency matters, high frequency devices give much better result. So, we have developed high frequency vibration devices. 
two, one from 1k to 20k, another is 20k to 40k. Uh, higher the frequency, uh, better the accuracy and faster the drilling. Micro grinding, I think we covered on the PCD rod very quickly. This PCD rod we by wire EDM, we protrude out the diamond particles and they do the grinding for these steps. Uh, we added the laser recent as I told. Again, the video will not work, I am sure. So, give up. So, this is the laser device we have attached. And I think I will have no time to talk about laser micro machining. We have not done extensive work as well. Uh, but advantage of laser is, is that when you need to have large number of holes very fast, then you use the laser, you get the benefit of laser first machining and then fine finishing with uh, EDM. The other interesting thing is that when you do laser finishing, laser machining, then heat affected zone is softer, so EDM is faster. So that quickly I summarized. Uh, so we try to cut slot and then machine it. Uh, compound laser EDM micro machining combination of multiple processes sequentially in a single setup. So we use the advantages of laser first machining and then later electrical discharge machining which is for finished machining. So this we have already electric discharge. Um, I am not going into the details of it, no need. So this is the channel we cut, laser beam machining, first machining, it is uh, production defects are there, surface is not smooth, poor surface finish, poor surface quality, uh, such defects are removed by EDM. Uh, processing time is greatly reduced by laser, elimination of defects would be done by EDM. Okay. Uh, if you see surface quality is, uh, surface quality after EDM uh, is very much improved and most important thing is time. If you look at this time when you do by laser, uh, okay, first of all surface quality, surface done by laser is it is in unit, 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 RA, should be in micron, surface roughness is 1.5 micron okay. and then EDM alone 0.23 and when you combine them together, EDM, EDM is, we have three results, laser is so much by EDM is this very low and time taken laser you can the whole length you can measure machine it in 3.1 minute and then EDM alone takes 300 minutes compounded together up to the finishing becomes 39.12 minutes. So you can have fine finish quick machining compounding these two together. On machine measuring device, it is image processing, I am not going to cover into details of it. Uh, what I wanted to cover, yesterday I thought about this, I skip quickly. No, that is all about uh, compound machine. But well, there is another thing which I will not cover uh, in detail. What we talked about, all are uh, material removal. EDM, whatever you call material removal. But beauty of this, you can have material deposition as well. If you want to fabricate your own electrode using this com compound machining, you can do it. I hope I have that. This I will cover in, in my next lecture. <coughs>